a good title for your next one might be Beyond Entitlement. Because your conferences up to now have perhaps benefited greatly from the immensely positive impression generated by the previous generations. And I think what you need to do is to be thinking about following in their footsteps, not just merely as children, not just merely as inhabitants of this planet, but uh, also taking up their theme of what can we give back to Canada. It's more difficult for you because a lot of you were born in Canada and you don't think of yourselves in quite that way. This is a very inspiring moment for us all that we have come so far. Five years, five conferences. This will be the sixth, seventh and eighth conference in 2013. So it's a very, um, it's a very significant achievement and we should really showcase uh, our pride and we should also showcase the hope for the future, for the future generations and inspire others to join to create this global Polonia community. Kovadis actually opened my eyes, like I mentioned, to the various individuals within Polonia that were very successful and very involved and I was inspired by that. It really has the potential to create a more active Polonia in, in the communities in each of these respective cities. It was an amazing learning experience at the same time that I took outside of Kovadis and outside of Polonia and I use in my daily professional career now. Having fun was such a key part of it and, and I think that's what made it so much uh, such a success. Inspiring patriotism is um, the biggest challenge that all organizations are facing in Polonia right now. When it comes to Canada, I think the main challenge of Canada's current Polonia is the fact that there's not going to be an influx of Polish immigrants in the near future that are going to help revitalize our community. We have to do it ourselves. I think it has forced people, especially young people, to ask themselves that question. Uh, and this is the right time to do it. The biggest challenge going forward is uh, to really just connect with our Polish heritage in a meaningful way. Many of us already were not born in Poland or were born in Canada, and it becomes harder and harder to maintain the Polish language, to uh, maintain that active link to Poland. The lessons that come out of Kovadis are, are really widespread. I think the most important thing that I've been getting out of them um, is trying to learn and understand what Poland is about now and how it relates to Canada and, and our lives here, how we have two homes and two cultures and are really blessed to be living uh, between kind of two worlds and be able to do what we love to do with both those cultures in one place. It's, uh, you know, throughout this five years, it's been very successful getting people back into the community. I attended to meet people, but also like to come back and like encourage other people because it's such a great experience. I was just thinking to myself like, where has this thing been my whole life? Like I have wanted to uh, join something, but it has never been of this magnitude. So I just thought, wow. I noticed that there's so many young people that want to be involved, and I felt like this would be a good way to try and you know maintain that community and get involved with people that have a similar vision as me for Polonia. Uh, my uh, favorite moment, well, it wasn't really one. It would just be the amount of people I got to meet and the amount of friends I made through that first, uh, through that volunteer experience. Uh, and many of them I still keep contact with. This whole excitement just builds and builds and everybody feeds off their, um, their energy. So uh, I know that the thing I'm from what I remember, Pisk was definitely uh, an, an outpoaching of the first Fovadis. Now Pisk is organizing Iskra. So all these organizations and all these events are just building on top of that initial explosion that Kovadis one was. It displays that you can, with, with an idea and with a good team, uh, develop something into something much bigger than, than just yourself. No matter your age, no matter what your qualifications are, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. I really applaud the initiatives that, that you're, you're doing, you know, with, uh, with Kovadis and Pisk and the, and the young Polish professionals and, and so forth, because it, it demonstrates that um, the evolution of Polonia. Kovadis stało się Marką Kwowadis to znak rozpoznawczy e, młodej Polonii kanadyjskiej. O Kwowadis słychać już i w Polsce, ale i w innych e, krajach. To duża zasługa właśnie tutaj młodzieży, że udało się wyjść z tą ofertą współpracy 
młodzieżowej, można powiedzieć studenckiej, na zewnątrz, pokazać Polonii innych krajów, że nadal można w tej dobie globalizacji, w dobie uganiania się za własną karierą, można na chwilę od tego, że tak powiem, odskoczyć i zrobić coś dobrego dla innych, zrobić coś, co może przypomnieć o kraju swojego pochodzenia, o kraju przodków. It's a very rewarding experience. Um... You know, working very hard for a year and uh, surpassing many different challenges, meeting the, dif the different types of people and really proving something to yourself that you can do this, you can accomplish it and seeing the end result of something that you have planned from the beginning to the end is a very enlightening experience. As a young individual, you don't always get the chance to challenge yourself in such a deep and profound way and really put your, you know, put your skills and abilities to the test. In order to know where you're going, you need purpose. and. Uh, Kvobadi serves a purpose in terms of providing a pathway for people to fulfill their goals. Kvobadi makes it very easy in that it's informal at times. You get to discuss themes and topics and uh, that's really what mentoring is, a kind of a long-term discussion. Why Kvobadi? Because it makes a difference. It's important. It is the first initiative in a very long time that has spoken to the needs of an entire generation of people. And nationally, I think it built a huge conscience of having, um, realizing that Polonia is all over Canada, that we have a lot in common, and that there's a real value in connecting to our roots and our heritage, and that there's something very powerful to having that identity and sharing that with so many people across the country and now across the world. When I go to Senate, when I go to Polish Sejm, when I go to Minister of Foreign Affairs or TV Polonia, everybody asks me about Kvowadis. Why? Because you've done it something positive. I think people have been sitting on their hands for a long time looking around waiting for somebody to step up and do something. And Kvowadis was that moment where a bunch of people stepped up and did something. And I think that affected not only the people that were directly involved, but it affected people well beyond uh, the borders. Uh, it really became something that we've discussed many times. It became a template. It became a template for the possible. I think that, you know, after five years, you can certainly pat yourself on the back for what you've done. Uh, and you have done an enormous amount. But I think at this point, the work is only just beginning. If I could describe Quo Vadis in one word, I would say it's enlightening. Heritage Leadership Unity. Civic Engagement. Awe-inspiring. Unprecedented potential. I'd say igniting. An extremely amazing experience. <laughs> I'd have to say action. The future of Polonia. Amazing. I would say purpose. Inspiring and powerful. The reality is there's things you can't change. You know, where you've come from is one of those things. And it's worth reflecting on where you've come from simply because it's a point of departure for where you're going.